How's it going, YouTube? This is Brain here, curator of the Zombie Farm Archive, and I've got some good news for y'all today. As of this video going up, ZFR is now available for download. You can find it at the Google Drive link in the description below. Uh, on a less good note, I wanted to get some direct capture footage for y'all, but unfortunately the Elgato isn't fucking working, so I'm gonna have to go back to my roots a little bit. Gorilla style. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get into a little bit of a tutorial for installation and, uh, and a little bit of gameplay as well. So let's jump straight into it. Before anything, I should mention this is for iOS only. First things first, you're gonna need a compatible iDevice. Devices such as the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and iPad 2 are all known to work. However, it is possible other devices such as the iPod Touch 4th Gen could work as well. So long as you're on a version of iOS with 32-bit app support, i.e. iOS 10 and below, you should be good to go. Second, your device needs to be jailbroken. ZFR and all other copies of Zombie Farm uploaded to the archive are decrypted and dumped using a script called Clutch. This is done so they can be played without needing to log into the original purchaser's Apple ID. The caveat to this is that your device needs to be jailbroken and needs to be running a tweak called AppSync Unified. I have a link in the description below to the Legacy Jailbreak subreddit where you can find everything you need to know regarding jailbreaking if your device isn't already jailbroken. Once you've met the aforementioned criteria, you're good to go. Download whichever version of Zombie Farm you wish to play from the Google Drive link below. In this case, I'll be using ZFR. Now get a program capable of installing IPAs ready on your PC, laptop, or Mac. I'm using iFunbox as I find iTunes really doesn't like working with me. However, you can use whatever you prefer so long as it's capable of installing IPAs to your device. Now, head on over to the Apps section. Click the Install App button and select the IPA you downloaded. Have a little bit of patience and give it a moment, and assuming you meet the aforementioned criteria within about 15 to 20 seconds, the app should install to your device successfully. That's it. You're ready to play. So here I am on ZFR. I've got my save game from version 1.19. I should mention that any save game files from Zombie Farm 1.19 or below are compatible here, so if you want to move them up, be my guest. Now, uh, I'm not going to go too much into the changes. I think I'll just mention a few of them here, and uh, I'll mention a few things that I want to change in a future update. So as far as changes I've made, uh, all the special zombies and seasonal zombies have been restored to the market in this version. You can get the Cupid zombie using the Valentine gift, which is available in the boost section. However, I should mention you can only have one per farm, so don't buy two of them as you'd be wasting five brains in doing so. Uh, I've changed some of the stuff in the market to gold from brains as I figure like, for example, the ground uh, scenery isn't worth paying brains for when brains are so hard to get in this version of the game. Uh, with ZF2R, I was able to change the brains drop rate to make them a lot more reasonable to obtain. However, here with ZFR, I wasn't able to do that. And I'm still trying to figure out how I can potentially do that. But uh, I haven't had any luck yet. Uh, as far as changes I want to make, I want to restore all of the seasonal decors and such to the market. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I want to be able to restore all the seasonal invasions, and I'm able to restore one at a time, however, the enemies are a little funky with them, and as well as that, if I restore more than one at a time, it causes the game to crash when you try to load up any invasion, so uh, I'm just gonna try and find a workaround for that for the time being, but for now, uh, I wasn't able to get those in, so sorry about that. I hope I can get them in next update, but I can't promise anything that I'm not 100% sure of. Um, I should mention I've also restored all the HD sound effects to this version. Uh, there were some sound effects that were just kind of muddy, kind of, I don't know how to describe it. They sound blurry, if that makes sense. Uh, the audio equivalent of blurry. And I got the uh, crisp, high quality versions brought over here. As well as that, I've also brought the full uncut OST from 0.85, so all the full tracks are available here, and they're in the highest quality available as well. Anyway, that's it, and uh, I hope you all enjoy playing ZFR, and I look forward to rolling out some more updates for it.
Thanks for checking in, y'all.